In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use rules while you're categorizing your transactions in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I am a Zoho Finance Partner at New Light Financial Solutions. Here at New Light Financial Solutions, we are on a mission to help demystify business finances as well as partner with as many business owners as possible to help them have a growing and more profitable business. Thank you so much for joining us on our YouTube channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. Rules in Zoho Books help us make the process faster and more efficient when we are categorizing transactions that repeat themselves multiple times. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a rule and how to use the rules in Zoho Books. If you can see here, you'll notice that I have three deposits of $9. They're all $9. If you scroll down, I have more deposits of $9. This is a recurring subscription income that, that I have. And um, it would be easier if I don't have to individually categorize these. And that's where rules come in. So if I click this, um, what you'll want to do to get started, the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and categorize one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is sales without invoices. It's going into my sales account. Um, if you need, you can put in any other details in here. And then you would click save. And then what happens is it prompts you to create a new rule. So I'm going to create a new rule. Um, the way it works is you can either do all of the following criteria, which means it has to match this and this or any of the following criteria, which means it could be this or this. And you can also add additional criteria here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually pick all. So I want it to always equal these transactions for $9 and it always contains um, merchant services in the description. This is the transaction I want. I'm gonna just name it something. So recurring revenue um, transactions. And then I'm gonna click save. And this creates a rule for me. Um, what I'm gonna do next, two things to point out. If you click on the next one, it will automatically fill out the information that I put in. And you'll see up here at the top, it says transaction details are populated based on the recurring revenue transactions rule. And I can just click save. But what you can also do with rules is if you use this drop down over here next to uncategorized transactions and click recognized, you'll notice now that there are recognized transactions based on this rule and they're all the $9 ones. This, this is the only rule I have set up. So I can multi-select um, any of these transactions and then just click categorize now. And then it'll prompt you, are you sure? Yes, I wanna categorize them. And that's a quick way to categorize more than one transaction at a time. Um, if I go back to my uncategorized transactions, you'll see that they are gone and that the rule helped me make this a lot faster. And where you can find the set of rules that you've already created if you need to edit them um, is if you go back to your banking dashboard, you see the checking account here, whichever account you have, there's a little drop down arrow and you can click manage transaction rules. If I click that, you'll see the rule that I just created. I can click on it, I can make edits to it, I can also trash it if I want to, um, and you can change the order so rules go in different priorities. Um, but this is where you would find all the rules related to your checking transactions. I hope this helps and makes your process go a lot smoother. Um, thanks for watching.